the things to really monitor at the ranch level, and you know, I've talked about body condition being a good tool, but if you wait until you see changes in body condition in your cows to make management decisions such as stocking rate, supplementation, you're about two months behind at a minimum. So you really have to start that process. It's a good way to monitor the end results of your program, but it's not a good predictor. And so you get behind if you use body condition as, a, as the management tool. But you do need to monitor it. And those allows you to know when to put additional resources into a set of cows or when perhaps you can bring more cattle onto an operation. And so those, you know, it's a good indicator, but it's not the end all tool that some people like to think it is. Because stocking rate issues are what lead to most body condition score problems. That you get next would probably be old age and then lameness and health issues would fall in behind as far as affecting body condition. But the bulk of the cows we see come to market that are too thin have been without adequate feed resources for a period of time and then the decision is made too late to send those cattle to town to get that maximum value out of it. We're, we're very optimistic that things are going to improve in our industry, but at times it's very costly to be overly optimistic. We need to be realistic in our expectations in a cow that falls below that condition score four and particularly into a two, you're looking at probably a six month window on forage before you could ever improve that condition to any great extent. So if you look at the timeliness of how many resources you can allocate, what the cost of that might be, you really have to make some decisions early in your production cycle and have a marketing plan in place. If you've got a bunch of old cows and feed resources get short, they should go to town very soon. Even if you have to pull the calves off of them and manage them at the ranch level, get the cows to market while they're still in condition. Put the re feed resources in the more efficient calf, and once again, you can spread your cost out and a lot of research to support weaning those calves early, anywhere from 60 days on, really, and having a very viable and, and actually profitable enterprise with those early weaned calves. So it can really be used as a tool to manage body condition on the cows. Uh, so if you're marginal in resources, you can wean the calves, feed the calves, and allow the cows to replenish some body condition if adequate forage is available to them.